Hello everybody, welcome to the crucial tiebreaker match of this round of 32 clash between Wenteros and Zahiu. Um, Wenteros is Russian and qualified via Ruby BL. Zahiu is Spanish and qualified another way. <laughs> the Buttercup, there you go. And um, yep, Skaven. What happened is game one, Wenteros disconnected. He, he was looking at a draw or a loss, um, but if he had drawn the first one and won the second, he would have qualified. But that disconnect meant that he, he had to win the second. He won the second game. He's brought it back to 1-1. One, one. I think this is the fourth tiebreaker match of the uh, round of 32. So very exciting. And yeah, the Skaven have won the toss, chose to kick. They've got both got unpainted teams, which is honestly, quite frankly, disgusting that they uh, didn't didn't select any special colours or any special... Oh, okay, so to be fair, Wentros has chosen some staff here, but he hasn't painted his team at all. So in punishment, we're going to go red and blue. There we go. Yeah, I mean, he could have just taken an orc team. He, I mean, he, he did take a comedy team. Like, it's not good. Um, he did not pick a good team. He, he picked a comedy team. If he just wanted a bash, he could have taken Undead or Lizard Men or Orcs. He could have taken, like, a real team. But, I mean, he, he took a comedy team. Which, I mean, you know, fair enough. <laughs> I, I mean, all credit to him. It was hilarious. It was a hilarious thing to do, but... Uh, it was not best for his chances of qualification. Oh my goodness. Skaven with a blitz. So I would say that this matchup generally favours Dark Elves. But when they get blitzed on, less so. This is quite a decent anti blitz setup. Um, Wentros has taken a similar team to me. He's got four Blodge Blitzers and then two Rodge Witch Elves, etc. So the difference is he's got 11 players plus an Apple rather than 12, and he's got one. He's got two Wrestle Witch Elves rather than one Wrestle, one Block. But very similar overall. Only two rerolls is very tight. Zahu has taken a somewhat strange build because he's only got the two rerolls plus the leader. He's what has he dropped? He's dropped Wrestle off the gutter runner. But he's still got 13 players and an apple, so it's it's more durable, but only two rerolls is a bit dodgy. Um, basically it encourages him to not play defense, right? And just uh, hope for the one turn with three rerolls, so Yeah, North American. Phase is North American, yeah. Started with a blitz. But yeah, I mean, good, good setup, right? Good setup. Um, he just had a 3 2 through. Just left a 3 2. No dodge, by the way, on a blitz. And he made the 3 2. He could also come through with another one. Yeah, no. Crucially, there is no dodge for the gutter runners doing this. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, this is really no threat as long as he makes the pickup. He is an absolute... He's a 1 in 36 away from absolute disaster. Though. So, he might want to mitigate the 1 in 36 lose the game. So yeah, I mean, he could surf this line rat. It's it's somewhat difficult to surf the line rat because there are two gutter runs in your backfield or legs. <laughs> but yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He can go up there. He can get the assist and he can push him there and then surf him and then try and get this dodge off the... I don't want to dodge off the alliance. I want to cage here. I'll be honest. I want to get the ball, 
go here and then smash all the LOS. So I would not try the surf here. But the problem is you 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 want to you want to I guess sandwich the gutters, sandwich the gutters. So you got something. Maybe sandwich them. Maybe like fully quad quad them in. I don't know. Do something to control the gutters because you don't just want to lose a one in thirty six. You really just don't want to lose the one in thirty six here. And blitzing's risky because you know you can't like you can't deal with this side stepper here. So mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, it's, I, I don't like this so much because you're pushing him back towards your prepared cage. Well, not prepared, desired cage, and you're hitting with wrestle rather than block. So you know, not not a great. Not a great thing, but I mean, getting one down is good, isn't it? Getting one down is good. I think if you're going to make that blitz, then I would have rather had this guy stood here, right, to cancel the secondary assist, and then, you, then you're bracketing this guy with the witch elf itself. Okay, we're going for a deep cage. Going for a deep cage. Running out of time. This is okay, right? Going to time bank this turn. Um, in my round thirty-two game, I went to time bank in the uh, in the second half because I just wanted to make sure, you know, like there was surfing opportunities and there was a ball deep, and I, I wanted to make sure I did everything perfectly. And I took the time and did everything perfectly, so that was fine. Um, so yeah. The problem here that he's got is he's not protecting out in front of this side, is he? So he's inviting pressure into the front of this cage. He's also disconnected between the LOS. So, yeah, he split his team in half here. Uh, this is... I think I preferred trying to cage in here, right? Just keep the whole team blobbed up together. I think the play was not have this guy here, but bring that guy there. I mean, if you're going to do this blitz at all, then do that blitz. So then this, the remaining fella is uh, is caged, and then you could have gone up and uh, caged up here, right? I think that's better than this because this is this is very dodgy. Like he can just pow, he could just pow. The blitzer, he could pow this guy, and then he can, he can just, you know, have your life, scaven things. I mean, it's tough. It's a tough, you know. I'm not, I'm not having a go when it was. It's a, it was a tough thing to solve, but you know, scaven getting a blitz is pretty annoying. The absolute best race in the game to get a blitz with movement nine, match two plus players. Roger three into two. This is Zahu's trademark. <laughs> I noticed it. And in the last game, he kept three dicing into two dicing, and eventually it did punish him. Not now though. He's made a Kaz, and that is an instant du apple. This thirty-seven and a half percent for it to work. It's a blodger though, and it's turn one. He doesn't apple it. And now the rogue is in the front of the cage. Oof. I think that's why I didn't want to cage up near the LOS. Was like, you know, rogue just jammed into the front, which I wasn't happy about either. But the problem is the rogue is jamming the cage wherever you go. I mean, it's not too risky, right? Three into two isn't too risky because it's only double skulls that gets him on the second hit. 
So it's it's not crazy. Uh, it's not crazy bad to do or anything, but it's just a little bit risky. Yeah, this whole team split is pretty annoying. Oh. It's a pretty much a nightmare start, yep. Yep. Blitz done by rats. Deep cage, team split. Player removed. Permanently. Oh, okay, so that's nice, isn't it? Now we've got a pretty easy reconnect and advancement. Yeah. Yeah, this is... It didn't have to be that easy, right? This this gutter could have run out to here and then punched him. And it would have been a lot harder. I mean, he could have powered and killed him, right? So... I, I definitely think Zahu made, should have made the reconnect harder. Could and should have. Yeah, this is a this is a lovely reconnect. I actually wouldn't have put the assist in there because I'd be blitzing that guy to get around. I guess he's gonna blitz the stripper, right? See if you kill it, you're a lot happier, aren't you? You're a lot happier if you kill this stripper. Uh, strip ball, <laughs> strip ball, Skaven gutter runner. Not, I wasn't talking about, <laughs> about anything else. Well, the problem is they can't screen Brightstone. They can't. They can't screen because there's a there's a stripper. So. They have to full cage at every point. Unless he can cast this stripper. Kill the stripper is number one go to against Skaven. Otherwise, you've got to like really play around it as much as possible. Even the point of making a rush there. Oh, scary stuff. Yeah, I like this a lot, right? So that isolates the roller on him, and then he can dodge off the witch. Yeah, I would have, I would have, uh, I would have actually double dodged to get the witch elf in here. Make the strip from that side impossible. I think that's. I counted it out: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know if you saw my mouse. I, that was my plan to just shut down this this strip because this strip isn't bad at all, is it? Yeah, as you say, good chance it goes in the crowd. He can like he still got the rest of the half. Like this is relatively risk free, shot to nothing. <laughs> yes, kill the strip. It does sound weird, doesn't it? It's not. It's not great, but that, I mean, <laughs> it's what. Yeah, you know, I, it, it is strip ball. People call them strippers, wrestlers. Dodgers, tacklers, like you know, sidestepper, like do you know what I mean? Like that is that is the standard terminology. Ah, strip balls, fair enough. I mean, that is what it is, right? That is what it is in uh, American football. Is a you strip the ball, right? I mean, that is what it is. Ball. It just sounds like he plays <laughs> basketball. <laughs> oh, another remover. Apple this. Apple this. So now the apple looks better than the reserve. No, no, no. I oh, I think you have to apple that. You're in trouble here. 
You're in trouble here. I think you have to up all that. This is like, this is very uncomfortable for winter us. That's when I'd have been happy I had. Oh, maybe it's so he can get the surf, but like surely he's going to stop the surf. Maybe he's thinking he can get the surf. Maybe he can get the surf. Yeah, that's it. I seemed like he should have appled that, doesn't it? I think that was an apple. Okay, now he's done a pretty good job of stopping the surf. That should probably be enough. Oh, the rogue has gone stupid. The most reliable big guy in the game has lost his tackle zones and uh, looks absolutely terrible. Who'd have thought it? Okay, now he definitely is not getting any surf there, is he? So, But he, it's a big commitment from Zahir. He's got four players completely free here. When Taros, all he needs to do is get the ball up here and he's fine, right? He can make a big old cage. Seems relatively easy. Yeah, it was a really, really stupid ogre. Honestly, like even him punching twice would have been bad, right? If he just pushed it twice. I guess he'd have been on this guy though. But it would have still left a gaping hole, I think not activating it was the play. So yeah, you know, don't have to say individual moves, but I mean, there's a pretty obvious play, which is, you know, all of the Skaven are here, and half of the Dark Elves are here, half are here, and there's a whole lot of space, so this seems pretty easy to do something with. Let's see what he does, though. I think he I think he probably should have appled there. That seemed a good apple to me. One of the times where like you know the apple's better than reserve. Keeping those KO players on. You know, early in a half. Turn two. In a in a half that you've been blitzed on and you're struggling a bit. I think that was a fine apple. Heading towards time bank, already used a minute forty. Well both of them have about used a minute forty. This looks like he's just going to go back. Which is a bit risky, isn't it? I mean, everything's got risks, hasn't it? Whatever you do, there's risks. You're just training. You're just trading one risk for another. But did he think that was two D? Do you think? I've got a feeling he thought that was two D. Otherwise, he'd have just dodged. Maybe not. Maybe he's protecting against the surf or the witch elf getting tackled. Now it's not dodge dodge, right? Because the it was the tackler, so. The 1D's different. It's not just worse and it's not just better. The fact that it added a rush means I think he thought it was too big. <laughs> Which, you know, like that's completely reasonable, right? Like it, it, these are really stressful games. He's already heavily in the time bank, three minutes in the time bank. Super stressful, blitzed on, down to nine players.
Yep, that's a, that's a lot of time bank used. Especially as this, this match could have overtime, right? Not even unlike this overtime, because they played... First game could have been a draw. Um, second game was relatively comfortable for Zai, for uh, Wenteros, but OK gets the push. You know, I do think... I do think uh, Juggernaut coming in clutch there, by the way. Man, he wouldn't have done it without Juggernaut, but still. Um, I do think the matchup overall favours the Dark Elves, but like not by loads, right? Not by loads. And the, the rats are always going to have, you know... You might force them to make some three pluses they're not happy about doing, but it's still just some three pluses. Even at worst, it's some three pluses, maybe a four plus. So it's never too bad for them. Yes, that is correct. Um, Andy is in the next round versus Jimmy Fantastic. Yep. Only one caster can get to the quarterfinals, which does work out rather well, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, that's enough, that's enough. Calm down, everybody. to the time bank. Three minutes of time bank chewed up in three turns for both participants more or less. That's a lot of time bank. Uh, it's probably worse for Zahu than it is for Wenteros honestly because Wenteros is the one that's under like intense pressure here right? So him, he's more okay with using his time bank. Uh, oh my god okay so the death is amazing. The kill is amazing. But getting on the second one is pretty horrible because now to to assist against the rogue he's got to dodge in so maybe he's not going to do that does he apple the dead it's a dead tackle you've probably got to apple it you've got 13 players so you can use numbers so you just apple on key players is your tackler a key player or do you keep it for the gutters in the rogue it's funny that even versus six Blodgers. You still think uh, tackler? It's not really that critical, is it? <laughs> the apple failed. He is dead. Oh, he didn't take the death. He didn't take the death, but um, he was dead, dead, dead. That is huge. But yeah, like now to assist it, if you do a three plus right, you really want to just power him on the first hit. And then uh, get the 2D here. Also, he's got the problem of where the hell he's going to go with a ball. Okay, so the answer <laughs> could be hand off and run away. <laughs> and then figure it out next turn. <laughs> because <laughs> this looks pretty difficult to solve with two more players to move. Yeah, he's got to do with a ball carrier. Oh, he didn't do with a ball carrier. I think he had to do with a ball carrier. Well, he's just got to push anyway, so... Oh, no, he's got a gate dodge here. No, it's quite simple. He just means he doesn't get the punch. No! Oh, okay, no, I... <laughs> I did like this to get away. But the problem is, he did... He could actually just... He could have just moved one here, right? He could have moved here. 
And then this guy could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, seven. So he'd have that, and then he could two plus away, and he'd have had a full cage. Running away is hard, but he's only got to run away for one turn, right? And then next turn he can, like, run back. <laughs> uh, he's getting two dice, so he does have to rush. Yeah, he's managed to run away from gutter runners, which is impressive. But if he scores early, he maybe just loses, right? So, I like this idea as a concept. I don't think I'd have done it in reality. I think, as it happened, he could have just moved over one, and then the guy who was stood there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this guy two pluses out, and then you've got a, you've got a full cage there. Like it wasn't great, and like you know, he was gonna get ro he was gonna rogue the guy in and stuff. Like it was gonna be pretty horrible, but now he's got to somehow get back to the rest of his team that's down here. It was a cool play, though. I did like I did like it when I spotted it. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty fun thing he can do, but. Uh... <laughs> think he'd actually do <laughs> it's one of those ones that when you're watching you think oh this is good but just don't expect people to do it fails a dodge no nope. flipping rats it's actually really easy to reconnect isn't it three four five six seven blitz this one full cage <laughs> Okay, now you've got to blitz that gutter, I guess. Or he could score. You know, maybe his plan is to score. But he can, like, full cage here. If he wants. Interesting match. Super interesting, you might say. I think what I would have done here is uh, have another player there and hand off to the knight. Like probably this guy, move this guy over and just hand off to him, and then you've got a bomber blodger. And uh, you're not in the danger of getting the ball stripped and the ball going in the crowd. And if you rush here, then there's a chance you just fall over and die, which is obviously terrible. So. So I feel like the cage is both easier to make here and stronger. And it's just, just a million times better, right? Like you can do this blitz. Okay, no, you couldn't do that blitz. The problem is the strip. The problem with it being over here is the strip. But I mean, he did save himself a two plus. And you really don't want to have to make two pluses. Good stuff from Winteros. Love to see some Dark Elf play. Best team in Blood Bowl. Nah, maybe not. Pretty good though.
Yeah, he's just blitzing to try and get himself back in. Fails. I mean, he could have just powered the first hit right and then got right back, but pretty unlucky. From Zahu there. Not rolling well with his Roger. I mean, not pretty unlucky, but somewhat unlucky. Yeah, exactly, yeah, that was the great thing, wasn't it? Completely abandoned the Roger. And now, this is looking pretty nice, isn't it? Wrestle Blitz not quite as good as a block one. He only gets back to the middle, right? He doesn't really get forward. He just gets to move over. But he gets to put some players out in front, potentially. In fact, maybe he does get forward. Man, I can't really. If he makes like a Bengabus, he could just uh, dodge away from the Roger and then it would have to blitz and like double rush to hit something. Or just blitz and single rush and not hit or risk of, risk of failed activation. So the dodge off looks pretty good this turn. I don't like the rush too much, I'd rather just have him there, and I'd have definitely gone for the 3 plus dodge off. Just because, like, you'd have to 4-2, I mean the 4-2 is pretty annoying actually, M maybe it is better not to. Glorious Roger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's your job, your job is just get smashed by this bloody thing. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Ten foot tall. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> monster. Not great, is it? Not a great life for that guy. And you've just seen it kill one of your mates as well. I guess the good thing about the wrestle over the block witch is the worst to have to blitz, right? Because... So I guess that's a good thing. That the the wrestle witch is somewhat better defender than a block witch. <laughs> Great job being it, yeah. You know. Such is the life of a flea. Four minutes of of time bank used by Wentoros. Wow. I wonder how aware of his time bank he is. Because I just didn't care about my time at all, like when I when I was using it. And then after I used it I was like, oh shit, I was down to like two two minutes, so I was like no more, no more time bank use, thank you very much. Not sure about this from Zahu.
Like that's fine, but it it's a gutter, so it's easily dealt with. <laughs> this rogue. <laughs> it's gone stupid and rolled pushes. I mean, it did it did kill this guy first, and after that, it went stupid and rolled pushes. Oh, that's a lovely blitz, isn't it? With a power freeze up two non dodge guys. Absolutely fantastic. Gets a really forward cage. Well, you can count out exactly how far it you know you can go. Maybe he doesn't go there. Probably goes as far forward as he can, but yeah, definitely want to make sure you can assemble the cage without any dice rolls. Yeah, and he can. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can get those two linemen at the front. Very nicely done by Zar. Not by Zar Hugh. By Wentoros. Okay, well, I say that, and then he made that dodge instead of this block. If he makes this block. Then, first of all, this guy's countering this assist. So he can 2D into 2D, maybe power it. Then that gives him this move for free. And then he can do that dodge. So, I was going to say, very well done by Wenteros, but that he made a tiny slip there. He made a tiny slip. And it may have cost him absolutely everything. No, he can't surf the line he can on turn 8, that would be hilarious. Honestly, maybe the first thing you do is just move this gutter. You made it adventurous and more fun. No, I think it was just a mistake, honestly. Like, I do. Like, I guess, you know, he, he was going to get more stuff back, potentially, right? If he was going to dodge the witch and dodge the lineman. But that was like such a such a uh, such a bad one in thirty six to fail. Like I think you have to do the block, right? At least if you have this guy there and you fail the dodge, it's not as bad. It's still terrible, but it's not quite as bad. Plus, you might have knocked over a gutter runner as well. A little bit greedy, going for the push this way. doesn't want to have to 1D strip it, does he? i oh, sorry, uphill. He doesn't want to have to uphill strip it. He'd like to 1D strip it if he could. He needs the recovery. Oh, 1 in 36. No. Oh, he did them both. 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he kind of had to. Do you know what? Once he pop dodged the first one, he could have just not made this. He could have not stacked them right, and then he could have uh, just moved here or something, and then dodged this guy out to be the assist. Unless he's going to dodge this one out as well to there, and then one D blitz him up, which is quite good. Oh no, he can, yeah, no, because otherwise he's blitzing down, isn't he? So he might dodge this one out as well, so we can blitz him up. Nope, he's blitzing him down. And we're still just going for the uphill, so a pointless tag. Oh no. Oh no. No, though, that was... I'm going to go and say that was wrong. If you're going to bring the assist in, you should hit him where you can use the assist. If you want to hit him from this square, you have to make this dodge first. And this dodge is pretty decent anyway, right? It gets a it gets a scave in there. It means you haven't got like instant recovery is the problem. It's got two rerolls went Ross, so we can go for the frivolous the frivolous hits here. They're not even frivolous actually, are they? Because to free to he's got a three D to uh, clear the dodge. 
So if you've got the pow, you could have moved. And it doesn't get the pow. Re you re-roll this. I think you have to re-roll this. Because yes, you could triple skull, but it's stopping you making a, a roll where a double skull loses you. Right, so... Makes the dodge. Yeah, that was definitely correct to re-roll that. Didn't get the knockdown on six dice. Did get the touchdown on turn eight. So... Things looking pretty okay. Don't want to say good for Wenderos. Okay, because we're about to see the Skaven one turn versus only nine players. So very hard to defend against the one turn with nine players. He's got the sidestep. He's got the Juggernaut frenzy. So, you know, only one reroll for Zahu. Zahu, because he's got the leader on this, in case you're wondering. How stupid is Jim? He doesn't have a reroll. No, he's got a leader thrower. So, one reroll, movement nine, sidestepper, and a juggernaut frenzy. So, pretty easy to get the one turn here. Only nine players to stop it. Yep, yeah, pressure. Pro not surprised. The pressure's getting to both of them. It's 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 unbelievable. I, like the the last few games I've had in this have been outrageous, outrageous pressure. That's only going to get worse in the the round of sixteen versus Devo of all people. So, this is awful. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a, of a polite way of saying, but I can't. This is, this is awful, no? Because now you can just pow twice. I'm not sure that um, Zahi is doing this correctly or not, but yeah, awful is polite. Awful is the most polite thing I can think of. Just backlining is way better than this. This is horrific. Yeah, if in doubt, backline, yeah. Like, it's so hard, right, with nine players to do a good one-turn defense. And he's just made it worse, a lot worse than the backline. I mean, he's not, to be fair, Zahi isn't doing it how I do it. Which, you know, um, oh no, maybe he is. Yeah, maybe he is. Uh, yeah, no, maybe he is. Maybe he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe he is. Anyway, like with this, you've got like you've got loads of like redundancies here, right? With blocks and and chains and everything, you've got it's so easy. You can just power on every hit. You can probably chain him like. I mean, you can chain him probably four squares forward, <laughs> but easily get him two with powers. With powers, you can get him two squares forward. So, he managed to find a way to not do it easily. So he could have made the block here, right? He could have blocked here, and then he could have blitzed this one. And then that would have gone into there and into there, which is obviously way, way, way better. Um, so... Now he's got to do a 3 plus 4 plus dodge or something, or... Just a four plus dodge to fill this. Bit rubbish. Bit rubbish there by Zahu. 
He's handing off in a tackle zone when he doesn't have to. Never punished. That's fair enough, Quincy. That's fair enough. That's better than what Wenteros did. <laughs> Okay, this is also wrong. Because he, he could have just punched. He could have just punched this guy, right? And then he would have had to do one dodge in. And then he gets the pow. And oh, look, he sidestepped here. He could have handed it off on a two. <laughs> but it's okay. Look, I'm not. This doesn't mean that Zahu's rubbish at one turning, right? What this means is he's under immense stress and pressure. I know because I've been in this situation. It's awful. And, uh, you know, he, he did this in the end. And he rolled a one on the last one because he used a reroll that he didn't need to use. And it's, you know, he's down to 2 minutes 40. That's blood ball, isn't it? The classic tripwire. Um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that he doesn't know what to do. It's just, it's just hard. Like, it's easy sitting here. It's absolutely easy sitting here saying, oh, I wouldn't have done that, and this is the correct way, and that's, that's the incorrect way. When you're actually in the game, it's, it's really hard. <laughs> so that is huge, huge for Wenteros. I mean, if Zahu scores that, he, he can't lose in normal time, right? Pretty much. Whereas now, he absolutely, you know, he... At best, he's looking for overtime now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Cosmigo, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I didn't even see that he rolled a push, but now that you mention it, he did, didn't he? Yeah. I don't know if he had a player there. I know he rolled a push of a pound out, but I wasn't really looking at it too hard there. I was just thinking he should have definitely done it differently to get the... Uh, to get the... Blitz. But, you know, that's good boy, isn't it? It's fine. It's not easy when you're under high pressure to make the absolute perfect play. At the end of the day, he came up with something that was nearly good enough. And if he just saved rerolls during the drive, and, and funny enough, that's actually what I said, wasn't it, at the start? At the start of the game, brilliant Jim, I said he's only got two rerolls, which means he's almost gonna not use any on offense, so he's got three for the one turn. And if he'd had three for the one turn, He'd have had a reroll for that rush, and maybe he scores it. Plus, he'd be on the sidestep, I believe. Might need him in overtime. Zahu could try to win this in normal time, but it doesn't seem a great idea. I think I'd be trying to stall it till turn 8 and win in overtime. The fact that when Taros is already down to 10 players and you've got a three dice mighty blow every turn. Yes, talk about it. Yeah, that's the funny thing is. That's the funny thing, isn't it? Um, I think my one turns are pretty good. Um, but I'm sure if I was playing Skaven, they'd be better because... I would absolutely have them drilled into me for this. So I am surprised because it's not hard. The thing is, it's not hard. The, what, what it's not hard, it's not hard to practice them, right? Like it's the rest of the game. You know, should I do this? Should I do this? Blah blah blah. Remember to do that. All of the other turns of the game, there's so many things that are happening and so many things you can do, and it's so fluid and. Etc. Etc. But when you're doing a one turn, it is just like a set of things that you can learn, couldn't you? Like anybody, 
Anybody can learn to one turn as good as K-Fog. Like it's not, it's not like a game, memorizing a whole game of chess, is it? It's just like, you know, you can pretty much just memorize this. There's not too much problem solving. Like even though there is a bit of problem solving. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was trying to say. Thanks, Torquemada. And yeah, they're the easiest by a mile. You've got Frenzy Juggernaut and you've got Sidestep Movement 9. They are the easiest by a mile to one turn with. And I mean, you know, Olivier kept saying it's got runners are overpowered. He's he's taken a stand firm and two sidesteppers to this tournament, you know. The one turn is horrendous. They can Rolex, but like they're not going to be too crazy, right? You can pretty much. You can practice versus pretty much anything. And it's so easy with Skaven, like only needing two pushes, with sidestep as well most of the time. Like it's not easy for Dark Elves to one turn against like tricky setups. Yeah, there's like BB pusher, but it's it's not great to be honest. It's not it's not great. It would be better if there was a if there was a thing in Blood Bowl three. Well, Tom Tech, it depends. Honestly, versus Skaven with movement nine sidestep and a juggernaut frenzy, I'd just backline. I just backline. At least then they're gonna have to make a hard dodge. The problem that Wenteros had, he's only had nine players, so he couldn't even backline very well. So he it wasn't really, that wasn't as good as it normally is. But versus other things, like, you know, versus Dark Elves and High Elves and, you know, Wood Elves, etc, etc. Versus those, you can do things. But versus Skaven, it's basically impossible. There is kind of a set one that people tend to use, but it's not that good. Well, just a screen like this is probably what Zahu wants to see, right? He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to have to roll loads of dice and make loads of decisions. Just punch things and stay where he is. Burn turns for a bit. Yeah, that one. I think I think the one that the first comment in that fumble thread. I think if you move the line forward one, right, to stop them getting easy pushes. I don't, wouldn't say it's standard, I think, I think I don't like that because it's your two, your LOS is, your, I don't like the line being too back, it's too easy just to get the diagonal, it doesn't really do anything, I don't think. I think that defense is rubbish. In fact, Torquemada, actually rubbish. I I, hate, I think if you if you're too back like that, it's rubbish. Yeah, KFOC has a series about it. Um, is there a command for it? There could be. I need to get rid of loads of these commands. Yes, maybe. There you go, there's the playlist of K Fog. Coffee. One of the best tabletop players in the world. If not the best. And uh, I've never watched them myself. <laughs> Funnily enough, <laughs> I've never watched them myself. And I probably should. Like, I probably would if I was planning on playing. Oh, yeah, it's Blood Bowl 2. I probably would if I was going to play them, you know, Skaven or something, right, for money. 
I probably would. But at the end of the day, um, I'm not. <laughs> so, I don't, but I think I am pretty good at them, funnily enough. I could do a YouTube video about it, to be honest, like... I could do a YouTube video of my own, or two. Yeah, anyone could, but I mean, I'm not I'm not playing Skaven, Rolex, that's what I'm saying, right? I'm not playing Skaven. I'm playing Dark Elves, I've basically got no chance of the one turn anyway, right, with movement seven. I had a go in one game. One out of five games I've had a chance to one turn. And I uh, didn't get the dice, but... I think I did an okay attempt at a one turn. Okay, so now he's getting in his face a little bit. That's the thing. I think if you if you're going Wood Elves with like a sidestep dancer or Skaven, you should you should have you have, you should have your one turns nailed. Also, I think like mine are pretty nailed, but you should definitely have them nailed. And obviously, yeah, Underworld, right? Underworld. You should you should absolutely have your your, your one turns. Right? Should be top notch, I think. But if you're playing orcs, then you don't need to, do you? Even um, Necro, right? Even Necro isn't too easy. Like, you can do funky things with the wolves. Like saving the blitz for the thing, but... Even, one t even Necro, like the one turn, isn't too good for them. Because the dodges are hard. It was like the skinks. The one turns a bit better for wizard management. Oh, big removal. Apple this. Like, you have to now. There's no choice. There's actually no choice on this one. Yeah, it's just, it's just not easy. Like, uh, the necro is just not easy. And it's less obvious that it's worth doing that. Other than just trying to do damage. So, I don't think you have to be great at one turning if you choose if you play in Necro. Like it's just unlikely to make a difference. Is the thing. Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can do that with with Necro, but it's it's not even necessarily the right thing to do, right? Yeah, the problem with the, tr the troll is a bit... The troll's a bit dodgy. And honestly, the goblin's a bit dodgy as well. I mean, it doesn't have a good one turn. It doesn't, because it's, it's, you've got to do loads of dodge. You've either got to do hard dodges or loads of pushes, right? Neither of which are good. It definitely doesn't have a good one turn. Oh, wow. This is a very risky Rogue Blitz. Both biting and not powing. And then a critical dodge. I guess it's not a critical dodge because you've got push and push. Actually, it wasn't a critical dodge, was it? So. And that push lets him dodge the other round. Which, like, he might as well, right? Rats. Well, now all of a sudden. I quite like this shape for the Skaven. This is pretty difficult for the uh, elves to clamp down on.
Yeah. It, I mean, the throw team it is nice, right? It wor worked for uh, Jay Leave two times out of three, didn't it? And it helps you two turn. Like, I know, I know it technically it wasn't a one turn, one of them, it was a two turn, but. You know, it helps you. It, 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 the, the toss isn't terrible at all. The problem that you've got with Necro really is how many pushes you need. Like you, you've just got to roll a lot of pushes, right? It's funny because he keeps blitzing with witch elves and he never seems to roll a both down <laughs> when a block witch would have been better than a wrestle witch. But, um. That's okay, isn't it? Gets a stun. Keeps the witch back. Gets to punch the roger. It's block. And he knows how to do it, Milo. <laughs> Everyone knows how to do it. It's good. It's not. It's not like some forbidden secret. It's just. It's just not good odds. You just need so many pushes, right? You need like five pushes from blocks, which is hard. Yeah, but it's still just the same. Like it's not. It's not. It's not hard. <laughs> the, the, I guess the hard thing is doing it when the heat is on, isn't it? Because when you're under pressure and that. But like it just basically, it's like, you know, it's like you either know how to do it or you don't, right? And I feel like everyone should know how to do it in the top 32. It's just not a good one turn. It's definitely not a good one turn. Because you need a million pushes. Because you can't dodge, so you have to you have to try and hope that you get to blitz through the back line. Or you know, like blip, blip, you, you so if if they're backlining, you have to blitz through the back line. If they're not backlining, then you have to get you have to like clear the defending players with your pushes. Either way, it's not easy at all. Okay, so we've got a 1D into a 2D. You go for this. Five plus with the wolf dodges. The plus one AV saved him, no way. Oh my God, it did. Outrageous. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> it's funny, I would have assisted... I guess he's going to blitz with... He's going to blitz with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush. Or is he just going to blitz with this one? Or is he going to three, two, blitz with this? I would have, I would have come in the top and then pushed it out this way. I wouldn't have had this guy here, I'd have had somebody here, and then one D push him down, and then come in the top.
Doesn't fall out, I didn't need to, I guess. So what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you could double rush to hit with wrestle twice. I mean that seems pretty good, doesn't it? And yeah, he just needs to not follow, yeah. I was thinking of following, but you just need to not follow to so know he was completely correct. I was an idiot. This is absolutely the right way of doing it. So yeah, he's got to dodge him. So here we go. A double rush for a 2D into another rush for a 2D into maybe getting a perfect scatter and going 2-0 up. That's definitely a nice play, isn't it? Oh! Has to re-roll. Gets the full pal. Oh, a terrible scatter. Do you 4 plus in and 4 plus pick up? I couldn't reach. Couldn't even reach, so no. Couldn't even reach. Walk down to just over a minute. Oh my god, if this goes to overtime. Which is the only way Zahi wins. You can clear this, can't you? You can clear both tackle zones. The problem is he might not want to. He might just want to blitz with a roger so that uh, he gets to juggernaut. So he just blocks. That was a one in nine away from disaster. He gets the power. Does the blitz, and that is the one in nine. Flip me into the push. Yeah, you can put him inside. Seems he's got a dodge away anyway. So he's got two dodges. With those, two gutters the other side. Hasn't really got anything over here, and he could run back. Is it turn 13? Running back isn't great, is it? I mean, he's got loads of space over here, but how does it work exactly? Oh, I guess this gutter can just reach here, can't it? It can just literally go from there to there. How completely bonkers are scaling. Ooh, I don't like that. I'd have definitely put this one here. Ooh. Ooh, that's got to be a mistake, hasn't it? You could have had that one there and that one there. Now he's got a double rush. Or is this one going to double rush? Oh, disgusting. Disgusting rats. No, oh, outrageous. Outrageous. All the dice. Wow. Yeah, I, I preferred, like, you know, getting getting something there and then like maybe not getting anything there and like trying to get something here or whatever but I mean this is much better if you roll all of the dice well you could you could 3-4 in couldn't you and just not re-roll it but then there's a lot of turns left so you could just try teeing off hit as many rats as you can Tricky. 
Could try surfing this gutter, couldn't he? Surfing this gutter is okay. Maybe even better than okay. Go the goal did suck. I mean, this is somewhat similar because if, like, you know, there's an elf team with five players, they just score in two turns if they win the toss, just like they would have done. But now they've got a chance to uh, hang on and get the kicks. I think it's better. I, d I don't think it's like a million times, but. A blockless block. With only one reroll. No, it wasn't. It was the blitzer. Okay. Funny enough, I prefer the blockless block so that the uh, blitzer could, uh, you know, come through and hit this right. Here. So. Okay. Does he go for the 1D surf? It looks like he is. He gets the 1D surf. Outrageous. And makes a rush in. I'd have definitely wanted to do the 2 plus to make that a 2 into 2. But it's not easy to do, is it? Like, this is the thing, it's not as if, like... You can't get everything you want, can you? The, you know, it's tricky. It's all very tricky. Feeding the witch the roll gear. Yeah, it's not great, is it? But again, it's not like you've got any choice. You've just got to do. You've got to do what you've got to do. Letting the roll go blitz and uh, get everything off would have been worse. Critical 1 in 36 again, like all you can do is just keep making them make them, right? That's very deep. Might be a chance. Sarhu definitely seems to live in a world where nothing can fail. <laughs> but, like, that's fair enough, right? Because at the end of the day, that's that's the world that Truk should have lived in the other day, I think, right? Um, not the other day. Was that just earlier two-day? I think that was just earlier two-day. Like, sometimes, you know, you've got to think, how does this score get done, right? And if the score gets done by you succeeding everything and doesn't get done if you don't succeed everything, then you just have to try and succeed everything. Simple as that. Very low, seven seconds left.
I mean, now you could maybe 3-3-2 three, three, two to, to 2D here. I don't know if you can reach that far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Rush, rush, not really. It doesn't look very good, does it? You might get yourself a 2 turn out of this. I think you just got to try and get yourself a 2 turn here as a uh, Wenteros. Didn't even get hit the wedge, dies. Guess he didn't want to go nah, it doesn't matter now, it's too far away, she punched it. Yeah, like sometimes you do, like you know what I mean? Like if if you cover all your failure states, but your success state doesn't get you the win, then what's the point, right? At least he goes for the four plus two D, gets the double pals, gets the catch. Gets the scatter catch, and um, all of a sudden, Wenteros is looking pretty good. He's got a two plus off. Probably should have dodged this guy first, right? Just a two plus. Oh, this guy rolled a one and died. <laughs> oh dear. I feel like you should have moved him off first, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then and then dodged him, but well, never mind, he died. Paid the price with his life. This is actually really good though, isn't it? This is pretty tricky to uh and you gotta dodge block him first. Then you've got to 2D the witch, but then your scatters aren't good. Yep, this looks pretty good for Wenteros. It's not over. But it's looking pretty good. Your critical fail, and now oof. the problem is with wrestle, he can't surf this, he can't go for this surf, can he? On the gutter, well, he could run three into three, I guess. No, he's not gonna, he's gonna be completely sensible, completely sensible. Run over here, cage up. Absolute maximum sense. <laughs> Engage maximum maximum sense and uh, not lose. Where's the stripper? Is it dead? Oh, it got surfed. Oh yeah, the witch elf one day surfed it, didn't it earlier? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well in that case you're safe. You just... I don't think he should have done this. He's he's gone for the surf. He could have just he could have just caged over here, right? Oh my god, the three die surf would have had to have been re rolled. I think he should have just caged it over here and then it's just 100% done. Who cares about surfing a gutter? Indeed, a dev. Hello. I could teach you how to actually open the client and uh, start a game rather than just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> You don't even think about it. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe you're the one who should be giving coaching then. How to not even think about opening the client. <laughs> so he does go over there, but yeah, I think he could have like gone over there in a cage, right? Like that seemed to me the best way. Go over there in a full cage. And there you go, Wenteros looks to be our penultimate yeah. qualifier. Almost certainly. 
Adev. The World Cup. Waking Adev from his Blood Bowl 2 slumber. <laughs> Did I say Blood Bowl 2 instead of Diablo 2? Or did I say Diablo 2? It's Diablo 2, isn't it? He has no blitz in the ball. No, no, he's done, isn't he? He's done, so. It's completely over. Say it's over. <laughs> there is, isn't there? Like it's weird, right? It's weird. I remember. I remember when uh, when I started. Oh my god, he rolled a six. He rolled a six to make it two 0 pointlessly. Incredible. 37 seconds versus 7. Imagine if it's gone to overtime, by the way. 37 seconds in the time bank versus 7. And uh, there you go. Incredible stuff. Wenteros beats Zahu. I mean, it is, it is a pretty nice racial matchup for the Dark Elves. But, you know, Skaven's still very, very dangerous. So, uh, absolutely, congratulations, Wenteros. Commiserations, Zahu. That nearly completes our round of 16 lineup. Wentross will be taken on surveillance, so he gets more Skaven for his troubles. And yeah, there we go. There's only we've only got Bright and Andre, which they played a game today. They're playing a game tomorrow, and maybe you know maybe playing a third as well. We shall see. Um, so yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>